Hello everyone, it is your boy Chaz here with the video footage from Retro Game Con 2016. Now I will be honest, it's not all that good, it's not a lot of it, it's just uh, me walking up and down the aisles, focusing on some of the tables and some of the other displays that were there. Right here are some of the pictures I took with the cosplayers. These people are always a lot of fun. Uh, but other than that, without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Two, Retro Gaming Expo. You can see tremendous amount of things and stuff and people. Shops all lined around. Take a look around. See what people have here, all the vendors and displays and things. The gentleman here selling imports. Gotta find my daughter, she went away somewhere. Games and things, more stuff. Cosplay area, got some shirts, a little video game area over yonder. It's Doctor Who, the game down at the end in the corner is Pat the NES Punk. Go back down the other way, Let's see what else we got. More games down here. Found my daughter. Let's take a walk. You can see all the great, fantastic things. Oh, there's a custom Mega Man. There's the bathrooms. Merchandise. Luigi. Around here. Plush dolls. This was really cool. This was a TV that was 3D without the use of glasses. It's done with computer software. It has many different modes, and what I mean by that is you can cycle through them to watch regular TV, 3D uh, without the glasses, 3D with the glasses, but they really promoted it without 3D glasses. When I went by to look at it, they were demoing Fallout 4. It looked really cool, uh, but you had to look at it at the right angle. You had to be like straight on the television set. Uh, it was giving me a little bit of a headache, I won't lie to you. I've walked by it again numerous other times, and I don't know if they played with some of the settings or whatnot, but the other games they played on there uh, looked fantastic from any angle, and I wasn't getting that, that drastic effect. This was really cool. Hopefully this technology will be available in the future, and I'll post a link in the description so you can check it out yourself.
sets were pretty cool too. They had some great stuff. They were showing a game they made for the NES called Mystic Searches. They made it on something they have coined the NES Maker. They're actually going to have a Kickstarter starting up for the thing so you can actually buy it yourself and make your own NES games. They're from the New 8-Bit Heroes. You can go to the new 8bitheroes.com. I'll post a link in the description. Check out what they have. You can pre-order their game and you can stay on top of their Kickstarter love coming soon. Really cool stuff. I plan on picking up the game myself. Check them out. This spot right here is empty for a reason. They threw the vendor out for running a scam. Later they would put Pat the NES Punk and the Gaming Historian here. And basically what the scam was, it was like a carnival game. You throw a dart at a board and there were numbers on the board and whatever number you hit with that dart, you would get that amount of points, so to speak. So you throw three darts, you hit 53 times, you get 150 points, you win whatever prize is at the 150 mark. The problem from what I could gather was that, let's say there was a prize that was 150 points, well, the highest point value on the board was 49. Therefore, you could never get 150. And I do believe you had to pay to throw the dart. So uh, that's the basis of it. They learned that, threw the guy out, and, you know, hey, not for nothing. Good riddance. <laughs> stop here to point out this vendor this vendor was a fucking cock and i'll give you a little bit of an example of some of the conversations we had he had a box earthbound in really good shape i asked him how much is it he tells me oh well that's not for sale it's for a special trade i'm like oh so he says to me well why do you want to know what the price of it is I'm like, well why the fuck do you think maybe because i was thinking about buying it and i see Mega Man 7 up there I'm like oh you know how much is that he goes six i'm like 60 which i knew wasn't the case but he's like oh you're not familiar with these games, are you? And I always play dumb. I, I never give any information like I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not. He's like, oh, that's 600. I was like, all right, you know, well, fuck you then. And say that. Don't just say six. No one that I've talked to gave me a price and just goes, oh, five or four. Unless they mean four or three fucking dollars or whatnot. This guy, I noticed there was never anybody at his table looking at his product. He never seemed to have a hole, and I never saw any extra stock for him to fill a hole. So, fuck this guy. I hope he didn't make any money. He can suck a dick.
So ends this journey through all the video footage I have of Retro Game Con 2016. If you like this video, please leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe to my videos, watch them all. I am very surprised for the amount of views I have already. Granted, they're only in the 10s and 20s, but I do appreciate those views. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have a lot more stuff coming down the pike. And as always, this is Chaz for Chaz's channel. Thanks for watching.